Hey guys, this is Beast here. Today we are going to see about the 5 most expensive vehicles in GTA 5. Buzzard Attack Chopper, $2 million. GTA 5's variant of the Buzzard Attack Chopper costs $250,000 more than the GTA Online. Variant. Given the lower prices for vehicles on average in GTA 5, this means that the Buzzard Attack Chopper has the fifth highest price in the game. It's a terrific vehicle. With a rocket launcher and a minigun that can make quick work of most activities in GTA 5. T20 and Cargobob, $2,200,000. GTA Online introduced several vehicles in the early days to GTA 5, with the T20 being one of the more expensive options. It costs $2,200,000 in both GTA 5 and GTA Online, and it's one of the best supercars in GTA 5. The Cargobob costs the same in GTA 5, although it should be noted that it's cheaper in GTA Online. Still, the Cargobob is a utility helicopter with a useful grappling hook for transporting cargo. Rhino Tank, $3 million. The Rhino Tank is the first example of a vehicle whose price is drastically different between GTA 5 and GTA Online. In the latter game, it normally costs $1,500,000 whereas that price is doubled in GTA 5. It's the premier weaponized vehicle in GTA 5, and it's a vehicle that needs no introduction for its effectiveness. Many GTA fans are already well aware of how powerful and durable it is. Swift Deluxe, $5,150,000. But the Swift Deluxe is a good helicopter for what it's worth. It's just overpriced at a hefty price of $5,150,000, but it has good mobility given it's a novelty vehicle. The Swift Deluxe is similar to the Luxor Deluxe in that they both came from the ill-gotten gains part 1 update. Like the Luxor Deluxe, their prices are the exact same between GTA 5 and GTA Online. The Luxor Deluxe and Z-Type, $10,000,000 but the Swift Deluxe is a good helicopter for what it's worth. It's just overpriced at a hefty price of $5,150,000, but it has good mobility given it's a novelty vehicle. The Swift Deluxe is similar to the Luxor Deluxe in that they both came from the ill-gotten gains part 1 update. Like the Luxor Deluxe, their prices are the exact same between GTA 5 and GTA Online. The Luxor Deluxe might not have been in the base game of GTA 5 when it was first launched, but it has been made available since the ill-gotten gains part 1 update. Like in GTA Online, this vehicle is priced at an outrageous price of $10 million. It's tied with the Z-Type as the most expensive vehicle in GTA Online. Like in GTA Online, there's nothing too special about the Luxor Deluxe, although GTA 5 players don't have to worry about being shot down by rogue players at the very least. The Z-Type's price is the most glaring difference between GTA 5's story mode and GTA Online. In the latter, it only costs $950,000, which is substantially lower than the former's $10 million. It costs the same as the Luxor Deluxe, which is a hefty price for a vehicle with no special perks. It's a classy car that was in GTA 2 representing the Zibatsu Corporation then. Sadly, its stats are nothing special in GTA 5's story mode. Hey guys wait. If you like then, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.